Did it with my duffel in my hand Working out a plan A hustle, not a scam It's the struggle of a man Trying to get to it You too, what's up? You're back with Brandon Cuts Today I have my oldest client Of 84 years old um, He's actually my first house call client My first client actually Since I've been back behind the chair um, This is Mr. Brown Mr. Brown's probably one of my funniest clients too man we pretty much don't do nothing but watch the news, fuss and debate about everything we watch while I cut his hair. You know, this isn't one of my most lavish cuts, but the reason why I chose Mr. Brown for this video is basically to show that, you know, every client, you know, doesn't require, you know, a ton of detail. And these type of clients that basically just get a basic service, you know, clean up and get out. Um, these are the ones that are going to carry you for your career. You know, the ones that aren't, you know, Facebook and Instagram worthy. But, you know, you still, you know, still have to value them just as much as you do the clients that require all the extra services. And, um, you know, especially like Mr. Brown here, you know, all he cares about is just, you know, clean them up. And you know show up every two weeks you know i don't even have to call him just to make sure you know that he wants me to come by you know, i call just to make sure he's okay you know before i come through but you know all he requires is my consistency you know, you know when it comes to elderly clients you know they're just as consistent as they expect you to be you know you're going to show up for their appointment or be ready for their appointment and when it comes to the services they want, it's pretty simple, you know. You know, they rarely change up, you know, if anything is, you know, take the beard down a little more or, you know, leave it alone, you know, whatever. Nothing that you have to, you know, grab out new tools for. You know, another reason why I appreciate it, you know, all the clients. Simple. You know, before I forget, why don't y'all go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell so you can catch my new videos as soon as they hit. You know, that way I ain't got to come find y'all. Alright? Alright. Those of you who've seen my last couple videos and are watching this one, you know, why don't you hop into the comment section and uh, let me know how I'm doing with my editing and camera angles, lighting. You know, just let me know uh, any suggestions or critique you may have, you know, something that you'd like to see, you know, in my upcoming videos. You know, let me know what I could do better, you know, or any other ideas that you may have. One thing I can suggest in this video for your clients, especially your elderly clients, is uh, not to neglect the hair that grows out of their ears. I mean, you'll see once I clear this air out, I mean, it makes all the difference for this cut. It's probably a good idea to have an ear and nose hair trimmer, but um, you know, if your trimmers aren't too sharp, you know, and the client's skin isn't sensitive, you know, trimmers will work just fine.
So I'm just doing a final clean up here. You know, this is the cut. Simple. Clean them up, get them out. All right. From all my original subscribers, I'm going to tell y'all thank you. My new subscribers, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. I hope y'all stay tuned for my upcoming videos. You can expect those to come out once a week. Don't forget to tell somebody you love them. And peace and blessings to y'all. I'm out.